it's Laura from Our Really House and today's video is going to be an organize with me and this is going to be a um, real life video. The kids are up from their naps. Usually I do all my recording when they're napping but with this one it's requiring me to move a lot of things around and I think it'll be a little loud during nap time. So we're going to organize with the kiddos today. Say hi! <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to hop in here. As you can see, it is quite a mess in there. Um, we try, I try to keep things in my pantry pretty clean and I like it to be organized so that whenever I come home from the grocery store, it's easy to just like put things where they go. You said hi, yeah you did. So I'm just going to show you a few of the things that I bought to get this thing organized. Now I have links for everything down in the description below. I went on Amazon just bought all kinds of like plastic bins and baskets to help keep things more organized. Now my pantry is not huge by any means, but my kitchen is not either. And so I try to keep some of my like appliances in here, like my food processor, my blender, um, things that I don't use all the time, my Instapot. And so I have an extra like shelving unit down in my pantry, which you'll see. And I kind of stack those things on. So I am just going to get in here. I'm going to take everything out, wipe it down, um, sweep it out and then I'm going to start organizing everything into categories and then sticking it back in. All right guys, let's get busy. Are you going to help mommy? Are you going to help mommy? No, no, mommy. With all of my help, I am happy to say that we only broke one spice container of cumin. Now I am going to mop the floor and wipe down all the walls using my all-purpose spray just to get everything fresh and clean before I put everything back in. And of course, while I am cleaning in the pantry, there are messes being made outside of the pantry. but look how happy it's keeping him. I bought several containers so I could consolidate bags and get rid of things to help keep things fresh longer and also to make the pantry more usable and pretty. So I'm just pouring all of my flowers and sugars and baking soda and all that kind of things into these canisters. I also bought some large storage bins here that I can store some things in just to help keep things organized. I am doing my best to sort it by categories. I have a lot of different supplements and then condiments in the other one. I have a ton of loose leaf tea and herbs, so I decided to label them and put them in Ziploc bags to make them a little smaller and easier to store. And I will keep these in a container in the pantry. Next up, I am finding a place to organize and keep all of our paper goods and Ziploc bags. Now it is time to start putting everything back in. So that's that little extra shelf that I was telling you guys about. We actually lived in an apartment before this house and we didn't have a pantry. And so this was a four tier shelf that we used. And when we got here, I took it apart and put half of it in the pantry just to add more shelves. I decided to move the tea to a smaller container and put it up top and put the kids snacks that they are allowed to get into lower for them to reach. I always need more space for our potatoes and so I decided to put them into a bigger basket so when I go to the store and buy more I don't have loose potatoes rolling around in the pantry. 
Now when I brought the spices back in, I tried to organize them by how I use them. So I put all the salty, savory spices together and then all the spices I use for baking together to make it easier to know what is what. 